Good morning. While I'm not a preacher, I like the little ones, so I break it down so we all can understand. Uh, this, this morning I'm going to attempt to teach and reiterate one of the most powerful things that God ever gave to us. It's so powerful and so renowned that the whole world set aside just a day for it, and that is love. Church of God, what is love? I'm feeling like the dictionary said, what is love? You know, as little children, we usually sing a little song that, you know, gave us a little idea of children, what love is. Shade, cameo. Shade and Cameo are going to remind us this morning of that little song. We sang in preschool usually. I know when Cameo was in preschool, he would come home singing this song, and then it would take me back, remind me of what it really meant to me at that age. Not for my sister Simone, that we're not going to do it. 
No, that is the word God No, God said we are a sacrifice. We are to be loving to all. All, all, all. The man on the street, you pass. Good morning, sir. He asked, can I have a quarter? You have a quarter? That's a quarter. That's a love. Not get away from me. You smell. You this. You that. Yes, we know the circumstance. He doesn't have to be reminded of that. God is love. And God has sacrificial love. That's selfless love. Love that knows no wrong. No envy. No jealousy. Just pure love. How can you say you love God when you don't love the person sitting next to you? from time to time and she's been in the yard. She goes, hurry up, run to her door. Just so she will say, hi, good morning. Uh, I don't want to go to the house. I mean, you know, but what is good morning? Good morning. You know, what is, and I go and I say, hi, sister, how are you? And I call her sister because she is. Whether she likes me or not, we all are sisters of God yes. in Christ. And we all should treat one another with that godly love. Uh, and God say, love your enemies. Can we do that on our own? No. 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 We can. Yes. Your enemy, that's the not the job who talks about you continuously. Your enemy, the person who scandalized your name, who talks all kind of evil against you. Your enemy, the person who may not really even know you, but yet they hate you. Yes. For what reason? Because of what Brother Hyde say. Because of what Sister Melvin is saying. She ain't nobody. She's so and so. She like this one husband. She like that one husband. Love your enemies. Yes. Only the Holy Spirit is in you can cause you to do that though. Yes. Ourself, we can't do that. No. Ourself, we are nothing. Yes. Ourself, we are just like those out on the streets. Uh -huh. Love your enemies, sisters, saints of God. Church, love your enemies. Uh -huh. Pray for them. Yes. Why are you praying for them? Yes. One day, they may change. Yes. And even if they don't change, God tells us to love our enemies. Yes. Do good to them that despitefully use you. Yes. You gotta pray for them. Pray that one day they may come into the light. They may come to know this God that you know. Yes. Nothing is impossible. God said, Me, it's not impossible. God can do anything but fail. Yes. God is not here for the just, He's not here for the righteous. He's here for your enemies. Yes. So we ought to pray for them continually. Yes. Yes. Not that kind of prayer we, we just say because God said, oh, please help us. No. Get down and start on notches. You know yes. and you see. You know their condition. Yes. You see what they're going through. You hear someone say something is happening bad with them. Yes. Don't go to them. Pray for them. Yes. Pray continually that God will touch their heart. Want to knock us out, but you don't want to speak. No, good morning, sister. Dog, I'm talking to you today. Love covers a multitude of sins. Yes. Love. Church, I don't know how important to say. I don't know how important it is to let you know that love is so important. Yes. The word of God said, God is love. Yes. God is love. Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 45. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. This is Jesus talking now. But I tell you, love your enemies. And pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He yes. causes the sun to shine on the just or the unjust, to rise on the evil and the good, and thanks rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Yes. Okay, this natural love, God gives it to all of us. Amen. Not only to me, not only to a mother, he gives it to all of us. Yes. But it's up to us what we're going to do with it. Yes. Are you going to use it as a, as a mere feeling? Oh, I love you. Or are you going to show it? Show it. Yes. Show it every day. Yes. Do we believe, I mean, would you have believed that this Sunday, Pastor Mudro and others would not have been here? No. We would not have guessed that. So we can't show them love anymore. But while we help one another, the person yes. sitting next to you, yes. the person who you've got a ton of 
this day, not only in church, or in the high bass and the violins. How do you think you draw us into the fold with the love, the love that exudes out of you, the love that you show to others, the love that you tell others about, and you show that in your daily life, on your job? How many of you may believe that there's some people on our jobs who don't even know that we're saved? And that is so, I mean, that is sad. That is sad because they're supposed to see that coming out of you. They're supposed to see the love exuding out of you. They're supposed to see that you're different. They're supposed to see that you must have been to the throne of grace. And in order for us to do that, we have to seek within ourselves. Do some soul searching. Do some soul searching today, saints of God. That niece, that nephew, that brother, that sister, that neighbor, that long time friend who you haven't heard about for a long time. Call them. Yes. I just called, you know, someone I just called to say I love you. Uh, Let them know that you still love them. Yes. In spite of what may have happened a long time ago, you still love them. Yes. In spite of what they might have done to you, what they might have said about you, you still love them. And then they would know that God, who is the God of love, has truly transformed your heart yes. and your mind. Yes. Because some things people do to us, only God can take it away. Yes. Only God can cleanse that hurt. Only God can fill that hurt with the spirit yes. of love. But saints of God, it's not too hard. It's up to me. Yes. It's up to you. It's yes. up to each and every one of us. Yes. If you want to set aside that hatred, if you want to set aside that envy, that jealousy, we can. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Stay in the Word. The Word is your strength. God said the Word is the truth. The armor of God. That's a part of it. You got to put on the truth. And the truth is in Jesus Christ. The Word of God. It's in none other. It's not in mother, nor father, nor sister, nor pastor. It's in the Word of God. Seek the Word. Search the Word. Hide the word in your heart for such a time when you need it. Yes. You know, at such a time as this means when you're going through, when you're in need of the word, you can draw from that string, yes. you can draw from that cupboard. You know, when we stock our cupboard up with food, in the event that we're going to need it. So when you go and you need a tennis soup, you pull it out. Yes. It nourishes your body. So it is with the word of God. Yes. When you need a scripture, you're able to search within yourself. Yes. The truth that you get in yourself, the word that you study. The word that you ask God to keep in your heart for oh. such a time when you need it so you can draw out of that mind and yes. say, this is what I need to apply to my life. Yes. When the world comes against you, when Satan is around you on every side, when it feels like you cannot pray, that's why we hide the word in our heart. Yes. Because sometimes you go through and go through so much, it's like run after the other, bam, 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 before you can get yourself, you know, you still stumbling. And Satan comes to me, ah, yes. oh, Jesus, again. Okay, that's why you have to know the word. Yes. Along with that powerful name, Jesus, you have to be able to speak the word in your situation. You know that God promises that even though I go through the water, yes. I wouldn't drown. Even though I go through the fire, yes. I wouldn't be touched. Like shot rock, you shot in the very yes. Not a hill of my head will be singed. Show kindness all the time? No, he doesn't. 
we don't. Okay? Just the mere fact of us backing on the side sometimes and then someone just yeah. run and get out of the way. You know? We don't even want to do that. It costs us nothing. It costs you nothing just to be kind, you know. Just the word sometimes. That's all it takes. Just the word. A kind word. It's a love does not envy. How could you say you love God? And God promises just what he do for Mary, he'll do for you. God promises that a cattle on a thousand hills, everything belongs to him. Yes, yes it's the doctors get a new car. He's so pain or we so envy and jealous. We don't even want to speak to her. Love. When 